So um in today's lesson we'll be talking about the wave equation. So remember that in our previous lessons we've been going through first order linear PDs. So today we are going to start with um the second order linear PDs and the wave equation is a typical example of a second order PD. So when you talk about the wave equation, it's an important second order linear PD for the description of waves. So like water waves, sound waves, and light waves, etc. So the wave equation is given by u of t t equals c squared u of x x. And this is when we have the wave equation in one spatial variable or coordinate. So note that this is the wave equation. But in some cases, in some textbooks, you see it as 1 over c squared u t t equals u x x. No, it's the same thing, just that we've divided through by c squared and we ended up with this. And also in some textbooks, you find out you see something like this <clears throat> u of t t minus c squared u of x x equals zero. So with this two, we just send this to the right hand side. So sorry, to the left hand side. So all these are the variables with the wave equation can be represented in one special variable. So in the wave equation, we have a certain C. So the C in our wave equation stands for the velocity. So you see the velocity in some books, and some books also use what we call propagation speed. And some books use just speed. So that's what our C stands for. So we can write our wave equation also in two special variables. So now we will get utt c squared will be equal to uxx plus uyy. So, and in three special coordinates, we get u of tt to be equal to c squared u of x x x plus u of y y y plus u of z z z so this is wave equation in two special coordinates of variables that's in x and y and this is in three so we have x y and z all right so do you remember the laplace equation the laplace equation so the Laplace equation when you have two special variables is u of x x plus u of y y equals zero and in three special coordinates u of x x u of y y plus u of c z equals zero. So let's take our wave equation of um, two special coordinate. So we see that when our u t t is equal to zero, you realize that you're going to get zero will be equal to c squared u x x plus u y y. We can divide you decide to divide you by c squared c squared. So you're going to get zero will be equal to u x x plus u y y. So this is just some relation between the wave equation and the Laplace equation. So with our wave equation, when our uh, utt here, um, which is the acceleration, is equal to zero, then our wave equation reduces to the Laplace equation. So this is just an introductory lecture to the wave equation. In our next lecture, we'll learn how to prove the wave equation using a vibrating string. And in the subsequent ones, we'll learn how to um, solve the wave equation. Thank you.